Act 1, Scene 2 of Raisin in the Sun opens on Saturday morning as Mama and Benita Younger are cleaning the apartment. Ruth is at the doctor's office. Mama suspects why, but doesn't tell. Joseph Asagai calls and asks if he can stop by. Benita warns Mama not to ask ignorant questions about Africans. Ruth comes home and confirms she's two months pregnant. This is not good news to her or Benita. Stressed and tired, Ruth starts to sob and goes to lie down. Asagai arrives with a gift of Nigerian records and colorful robes for Benita, whom he calls Aleo. He asks why Benita has mutilated her natural hair, calling it assimilationism, a label Benita rejects. Mama meets Asagai and warmly invites him to come over for a meal. She repeats to him what Benita told her, that Africans need salvation from colonialism, not heathenism. Once alone, Benita tries on the dress and headdress. She looks at herself in the mirror and then quickly leaves the house. The mailman delivers the settlement check. Ruth and Mama are thrilled and nervous, and Travis confirms for them that it's written for $10,000. Mama confronts Ruth about her doctor's appointment, but before Ruth can answer, Walter comes home and asks about the money. Mama firmly tells him she won't invest in a liquor store. Angry, Walter asks how she expects the family to get out of poverty, and he starts to storm out. Mama warns Walter that he'll push Ruth away, and she tells him she's worried about him. Walter admits his dreams make him crazy. Money is life, he tells her. Mama remembers when freedom used to be life, and she accuses Walter of not being satisfied or proud of anything she and Big Walter accomplished. She then tells him Ruth's news, and that she might end her pregnancy. Ruth confirms that she made a down payment for an abortion. Mama tells Walter to step up, be your father's son, and tell Ruth, we have people who give children life, not destroy them. Walter walks out, as Mama says, you are a disgrace to your father's memory. This scene focuses on Mama's efforts to love and understand her children. We see some connection when Mama repeats Benita's thoughts on colonialism. But ideas about money highlight a significant generation gap, and Mama fails to connect with Walter or Ruth. Mama won't invest in a liquor store, which to Walter promises a better job, better things, and the freedom of choice that money offers. Family is more important to Mama than money, so she can't fathom Ruth's thoughts of an abortion or Walter's indifference to it. Mama seems burdened by the fact that the insurance money will never replace the loss of her husband, and the specter of Big Walter looms large at scene's end. In Mama's eyes, Walter doesn't measure up to his example of manhood. Ruth also sees nothing positive for the future. When the act ends, the audience isn't sure what decision she'll make about her pregnancy. <laughs>